black hole so ancient it defies physics. The deepest look ever into cosmic time. Space-time itself caught vibrating like a drum and a planet still being born before our eyes. This is Astro News Weekly, your window into the biggest discoveries in astronomy and astrophysics. This is Anantam and Beyond. And right now, we'll uncover the breakthroughs that shook the universe this week and what they mean for our future among the stars. Let's begin with a black hole that shouldn't even exist. The earliest known black hole, August 29, 2025, 500 million years after the Big Bang, before the first galaxies had even settled, a monster was already waiting. The earliest black hole ever discovered, a supermassive giant hiding in the universe's infancy. On August 29, 2025, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope announced its discovery, buried in the faintest reaches of the cosmos. It's enormous, far too massive for its age. According to every model we have, a black hole like this should take billions of years to grow. Yet there it is, proof that the universe had shortcuts we still don't understand. This changes everything. Did black holes collapse directly from vast clouds of primordial gas? Were they born big, not grown? If black holes shaped the first galaxies, then this single object may hold the key to why the universe looks the way it does today. And the hunt isn't over. Webb will soon pair with Chandra X-ray Observatory to see if this ancient monster is still feeding. If it is, we may be witnessing the birth of the first galactic architects in cosmic history. And if the universe revealed its first black hole, it also gave us its deepest window yet. Deepest ever view of the universe, August 28, 2025. An ultra deep look in the mid infrared, a window Hubble couldn't open, peeling back dust to reveal galaxies the early universe tried to hide. Where Hubble saw darkness, Webb finds thousands of ember red smudges. Too dusty, too faint, or too young to see before. It's like switching on the backstage lights of Cosmic Dawn. On August 28, 2025, the Miri Deep Imaging Survey team released one of the deepest views ever captured, pushing beyond the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. This isn't a single snapshot, it's a tapestry of ultra-long exposures, carefully stacked and scrubbed of cosmic noise. Pointed at the same tiny patch of sky, it turns a familiar field into new territory. These aren't serene islands, their star factories compact, clumpy and wild, building their first generations of suns. Mid-infrared light catches the glow of warm dust and the fingerprints of newborn stars letting us see through the soot of creation. Some of these sparks ignited within the first billion years, when the universe was barely learning how to make galaxies. Every additional faint galaxy adds to the reionization ledger, the light that burned the fog of the early cosmos. Their numbers and brightness stress test our models of how fast structure formed and how early heavy elements and dust appeared. If there are more tiny galaxies than we thought, the first act of the universe was busier and brighter than our scripts allow. Webb's Nilspec will pin down their redshifts and elemental makeup, turning pretty colors into hard physics. ALMA and the next generation of giant telescopes will weigh their gas and sharpen their shapes, tracking how these sparks grow into spirals and giants. A picture becomes a timeline, and a timeline becomes a story of origins. If Webb showed us how many baby galaxies there are, Earth itself just heard what happens when their black holes collide. Black hole vibrations detected, August 28, 2025. The clearest ring down we've heard yet, those last pure notes a newborn black hole plays as space-time settles. It's gravity itself vibrating like a bell struck in the dark. Not just a detection, an identification of the black hole's voice. Announced on August 28, 2025 by the LIGO Virgo Kagra team working across the US, Italy, and Japan. Months of data combing, careful instrument calibration, and new analyses converged on the same signal. This is the collaboration's most textbook ring down to date. Researchers isolated multiple quasi normal modes, overtones that encode the remnants' mass and spin. By fitting those notes, they measured the black hole without light, only with the rhythm of space time. It's a clean laboratory for gravity at its most extreme. This is black hole spectroscopy, 
turning waveforms into physics and physics into tests of general relativity. So far, Einstein's predictions match the music, no cracks, no discordant tones. But the precision we're reaching means, if new physics lurks, it won't hide for long. Upgrades coming next run will push sensitivity into more ringdowns more often with higher SNR. That means multi-mode detections as routine and tighter bounds on any deviations from GR. We're about to build a playlist of black hole voices. Segway from waves in space-time to a rhythm far beyond Neptune. A new trans-Neptunian object in resonance with Neptune, August 26, 2025. A newly discovered trans-Neptunian object locked into a rare resonance with Neptune, a gravitational dance step fossilized from the solar system's early chaos. Each time Neptune goes around, this object hits its step on cue. It's choreography written by gravity, published on August 26, 2025, by an international team combining Subaru and Pan-Star surveys. They stitched years of wide-field images into a precise orbit. The result, resonance confirmed, not guessed. This isn't Pluto's familiar three. This is a rarer beat, harder to capture and harder to keep. Resonances like this are scars from planetary migration when Neptune likely drifted outward and trapped stragglers in step. The TNO stability tells us how and how fast that migration happened. Every resonant object is a time capsule of the outer solar system's reshaping. Stack enough of them and you reconstruct Neptune's long-ago path like footprints in snow. It's dynamics as forensics. Deeper surveys will hunt for siblings in the same rhythm and test how the resonance librates over millennia. ALMA and JWST can probe surface ice to compare these fossils by composition. Orbital mechanics meets chemistry. Ancient rhythms now meet a world that's still being made. Whispered 2b, planet in formation August 25th, 2025. A newborn gas giant, Whispered 2b, caught mid-formation, not inferred but seen nestled inside a gap of a multi-ring disk. A snapshot of a planet becoming. This is what the textbooks imagined. The telescope just confirmed it. Revealed on August 25th, 2025 by ESO's very large telescope in Chile. Multiple instruments, multiple wavelengths, all telling the same story. No single trick image, this is a body of evidence. The planet glows in H-alpha, the signature of accretion, gas falling in and releasing light. Estimate, a few Jupiter masses, still growing, still shaping the gap it lives in. It ties ring geometry to the physics of a forming world. For years, we linked rings and gaps to hidden planets. Here the planet is right there. That locks models of migration and dust trapping to an actual object. It's the bridge from beautiful disks to planet demographics. ALMA will map gas flows around the planet, measuring how it feeds. The ELT will return with sharper eyes. With time, we'll watch its orbit evolve and its glow fade as it matures. A time lapse of planetary youth. A CO2 rich, surprisingly dry inner disk, August 30th, 2025. A planet forming disk in a harsh UV neighborhood, and right where rocky worlds should take shape. Webb finds carbon dioxide everywhere, but little water. This isn't the cozy, water rich recipe we expected for inner systems. It's a carbon loaded nursery with a very different menu for making planets. On August 30th, 2025, a Stockholm University led XUE collaboration unveiled Miri Spectra of the disk XUE 10 in NGC 6357. They detected four distinct forms of CO2 in the terrestrial zone, an unprecedented chemical fingerprint for such a young disk. Same telescope, new chemistry. A surprise for planet formation. Intense external UV appears to be rewriting the inner disk chemistry, boosting CO2 while suppressing water lines. That means the CO balance, so crucial for atmospheres and rocks, can be set by the neighborhood, not just the star. The isotopic mix offers clues that tie back to the odd fingerprints we see in meteorites. If inner disks can be CO2 rich and water poor, some rocky planets may start drier and more carbon heavy than we thought. That shifts expectations for early atmospheres, volatile delivery, and even surface geology. Habitability may depend on where a system grows up, quiet suburb or UV blasted city. Survey irradiated versus quiescent disks to see how common this chemistry is. Pair web with ALMA to weigh gas and dust while ELTs resolve structures, linking chemistry to disk architecture. And follow XUE10 over time to watch whether water ever catches up. 
from a carbon-heavy nursery to a comet bringing alien chemistry of its own. Interstellar Comet 3, Iatlas, Exotic Chemistry, August 28, 2025. The third known interstellar traveler, 3 Iatlas, dissected by Webb and big ground-based scopes to read its chemical passport. A comet from somewhere else, carrying ice recipes we didn't write. It's a message in frozen bottles. Key results surfaced on August 28, 2025, led by JWST spectroscopy, cross-checked with major observatories. One team, many instruments, one goal, decode a foreign comet. It's coordinated science on a cosmic deadline. The coma is unusually CO-rich, with quirky isotopes, water ice, cyanide, even trace metals, ratios unlike many local comets. That points to a birthplace around a different kind of star or a different temperature history. Its ice has preserved a memory we don't share. This widens the menu of planet-forming chemistry across the galaxy. If comets seed worlds with volatiles, those worlds might start with very different raw ingredients. Habitability begins with inventory. Teams will monitor it through perihelion, watching which gases switch on with heat. Each spectrum is a frame in a chemical time lapse. Miss it now, and that lab leaves the solar system forever. Bebop 3b, circumbinary planet confirmed August 27, 2025. Bebop 3b, a planet that orbits two stars at once, confirmed purely by radial velocity, no transit required. We didn't see it cross a star, we felt its pull in starlight. It's a two-sun world found by gravity's tug, reported on August 27, 2025, by the Bebop Spectroscopic Survey using high-precision instruments. Multiple seasons of data, one coherent wobble. The signature is planetary. It sits in the thin band where circumbinary orbits are stable, weaving between two moving gravity wells. That placement tells a story about where and how it formed. Did it migrate? Did the binary sculpt the disk? The RVs set the stage. This expands the toolkit for two sun worlds beyond the transit bias of Kepler. We can now census circumbinaries even when geometry won't play nice. It opens a hidden population. Longer baseline RV may reveal siblings. If the viewing angle allows, JWST or high contrast images could sniff its atmosphere. A binary's radiation environment is a harsh test. Planets that survive here teach us resilience. From two suns to a world that races its star in five hours. TOI 2431b, ultra short period planet, August 25th, 2025. TOI 2431b circles its star in about 5 hours, an ultra-short period orbit on the edge of survival. Likely rocky, likely dense, likely incandescent on the day side, a planet living in a furnace. Announced August 25, 2025, by a test follow-up team combining space photometry and ground spectroscopy. Transit after transit, the clockwork held fast, precise, relentless. The orbit is a razor's edge. Tides squeeze it. Radiation strips it, and the star's gravity threatens to unmake it. We may witness orbital decay, a slow spiral inward, measurable by transit timing. It's a test bed for extreme planetary physics. These systems define the inner limit of planet survival, where rock meets radiation and endurance fails. They calibrate models of tidal heating, mass loss, and the final fate of migrating worlds. The universe's pressure cooker, tests and cheeps, will time its transits to the millisecond, searching for the tiny clock drift that betrays decay. High resolution spectra may catch escaping material in flight, a slow scientific countdown, and finally an icon of hope brought down to hard reality. TRAPPIST 1D, likely atmosphere free. New JWST spectra say TRAPPIST 1D is probably airless, no thick hydrogen shroud, no heavy CO2 blanket to catch. A bare rock in a red dwarf's glare. The dream narrows, but it doesn't die. Published on August 31st, 05, by a web team stacking multiple transits for sensitivity. They hunted for molecular fingerprints and found a flat line. Absence as evidence. M dwarfs are active. Their flares and winds can strip young atmospheres clean. 1D looks like a casualty of that weather. Proof that not every temperate orbit is a ticket to air. Nature is selective. This re-ranks the Trappist targets. 1E and 1F remain the better bets for air and water. It also sharpens our models of which M-dwarf planets can keep an atmosphere at all. Habitability begins with protection. Deeper JWST programs will push hard on 1E1F, 
chasing CO2 or H2O features, or setting upper limits that reshape our maps of life-friendly worlds. And every null result makes the next detection louder. We're closing in, and that's our universe this week 